Hey, hey, this is Julian, and you are on Eat the Vlogs. And in this video, we are going to break the blockchain. So let's take this scenario. On the blockchain, let's say that you have two miners, one in Shanghai and another one in New York. And both of them find the next block at the same time. So they are super happy. They're like, yeah, we're going to make a lot of money. So they both publish their block at the same time on the blockchain. But now the blockchain is really confused because other node participants on the blockchain, they see that there are two blocks at the same height and this is a violation of the principle of the blockchain. So what's going to happen? Well, actually, the network is going to temporarily split in two. So all the nodes that are closer to one miner will continue to work on this branch of the blockchain and the other part of the network that is closer to the other miner will work on the other branch of the blockchain. However, the designer of the blockchain technology were smart and they anticipated that problem. Whenever a miner adds a block to the blockchain, he has to solve a mathematical equation according to the proof of work algorithm but not all the blocks solve a mathematical equation of the same difficulty. This difficulty is adjusted by the algorithm of the blockchain protocol and this is done to keep some certain parameters constant such as the block time. So when a blockchain fork into two different branches, the branch that has the highest accumulated work wins. So if we come back to the example of our two miner who find a block at the same time, then very quickly one of the branch will have a higher accumulated work. As soon as the network figure this out, everybody will switch to the winning branch and the other branch will just be abandoned. So that means that all the miners who find block on this losing branch basically wasted money in electricity and the Bitcoin or Ether they got as reward is worth nothing. That also means that all the transactions in this alternative blockchain are invalid. But that can be a big issue for people who traded real object in real life. So for example, if you sold your car against some Bitcoin, so the other person already took off with your car and you, you are left with your fake Bitcoin. So this is a big issue. In order to avoid this, we have the concept of transaction confirmation. Basically, before you can consider a transaction safe, you need to wait for several blocks to be mined on top of the block in which your transaction was mined. And I actually have a full video that explains transaction confirmation in more detail and how to integrate them in your decentralized application. And if you also want to become a blockchain developer, I have a free training that explains you the whole process, including how you can find your first blockchain job. So I'll see you there.